Sanctions are considered as an important instrument of foreign policy and economic pressure that can be described as a sort of carrot and stick approach to dealing with international trade and politics. It's been argued that sanctions have adversely affected access to drugs in Iran, which can cause severe problems on people's lives. There are patients for whom a medicine is the difference between life and death. And in our country, the international financial sanctions have had serious consequences on health sector, especially chronic diseases like EB, cancer, and diabetes. On the other hand, relying on their own capabilities, Iranian could achieve to many scientific breakthroughs. In this regard, our country could reach to the notable accomplishments in four high-trend science fields, including nanotechnology, biotechnology, artificial intelligence, and stem cells. According to the recent statistics released by Saimago Journal in the field of artificial intelligence, Iran ranks first in the Middle East followed by Turkey. Based on the recent data released by German Specialized Research and Innovation Commission, Iran has been placed in fifth position in the field of artificial intelligence in the world. Statistics demonstrate that with almost 7,823 highly cited papers, Iran ranks top in biotechnology in the Middle East. Our drug production reached to 12 biotech drug in the market. Comparing to our neighboring country with the same population without sanction, we achieved the highest rank. Having in the mind that the transaction of the money is impossible at this time, there was no drug for many of the chronic disease and also for the cancer disease and uh, high-tech drug for the people. Not only in biotechnology, but also in the field of nanotech, Iran tops among the Middle East countries through releasing 6,435 articles, followed by Saudi Arabia. Iran right now is enjoying having the fourth rank in the world regarding science generation in the field of nanotechnology. We have diffused nanotechnology in more than 15 different industrial sectors. Health sector, pharmaceutical, cosmetic, the construction industry, automotive industry, agriculture industry, petrochemical industry, going through to uh, water and environment, home appliances. We have more than 220 manufacturing companies. Already we have more than 600 products, approved products, more than 90% of nanomaterials right now are produced in Iran. We have the technology. Some of our products have actually global impact. They are completely innovative, such as nanobiosensors for early cancer detection, cancer surgery, or for cancer treatment. Other area, a smart, uh, for example, paint, which you have, if you have a scratch, it acts like a skin. So it can repair itself. We are establishing uh, different offices right now in China. We have five different uh, offices. We are exporting our products to more than 45 countries. According to the Secretary of Council for Stem Cell Sciences and Technologies, Iran ranks second in publishing articles in international scientific indexing and generally ranks first in releasing scientific papers in the region. Iran is the third country in dental pulp stem cell after Japan and the US. Iran has made considerable advances in this field. The most important thing dealing with the last year for stem cell and regenerative medicine is the starting of export of, of products. In, in the Eastern Mediterranean region, Iran is rank one. Between Islamic countries also, we are rank one. The last decade, we mostly work on animal models, but right now, our knowledge-based company has started to use these cell-based products in, in human. So a lot of clinical trials started. 
during this last year. We are now working on how we can export the I mean, transfer technology mm -hmm. to outside. 